All right. Now this is where this product definitely does shine, is the fact that you can draw with it. Now, if you're like me, I love to draw. I love to draw and paint. Sometimes I just pretty much just lay down an initial uh, composition, just broader shapes, just to get the composition, because I want to get in there with my brush and my paint and just have some fun. Now, the great thing about these is that you can use them in, a, in, a, in a plenty of different ways, okay? And this is where it definitely does shine. Now, I'm going to use this dry on paper here. So, this is just a quinacridone coral, and I'm just going just gonna to notice how colorful that is, okay? So this is directly dry on the paper. Now, I'm going to come down over here. I'm going to get my... I'm going to just grab a, clean, uh, a brush with clean water and notice how it just melts away. Now this is, this is the same things you see in the tubes in the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolor. Okay? So it's a lot of pigment on there. Okay? So that's just painting it dry. Now, if I was to get the paper wet now, I'm definitely just going to put a lot of, a lot of water on here. I'm going to let that water soak in nice in my 300 pound Arches watercolor. I'm going to grab a different color here. I'm going to grab this uh, French ultramarine. And I can see a difference. It's almost like buttery. When you lay it down, it's so smooth. And again, you can see how it does melt away a little bit. I'm going to also grab here my cobalt blue. And again, very similar in color. And it just lays down beautifully. You can see how it's just melting away a little bit on there. You can definitely mix in a lot of different colors in there. This is new gamboge. And notice as I'm just kind of going over it, how we start making a green right there. That's the beautiful thing about it. These mix just like watercolor paints. Because these are watercolor paints. Now the other thing you can do is you can also dip. You can also dip the stick in water and draw directly on it. It's the same thing where you've gotten the paper wet. You just kind of dip it in some water. You can lay it down. And it does give you a little bit of a smoother stroke. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful feel to it. Now I am using a rough paper, so you're seeing it's kind of falling to all the grooves right there, which is fine. So right now I'm just kind of laying down, just filling some spots in here. And now with the brush, I'm going to lay down some of these, just kind of get them all mixed together. And again, they mix directly on there, so I'm using the um, quinacridone coral and the French ultramarine, and you get a nice little purple in there. And it gives you that look of a sketch, a drawing. You can definitely see the artist's hand when you see it. I'm not too worried about brush strokes. I'm also trying to look at color and composition. So again, it's beautiful. Like you notice, it's just melting away beautifully. Now, you might see a little bit of inside the grooves. That's just because the paper is a rough paper, so you're seeing some of that pigment fall into the grooves. But it does melt away beautifully. And it does extend. You know, again, this is, this is uh, Daniel Smith quality, so it's extending beautifully. That little stroke right there just goes a long way. So again, this is when you got the stick wet. Now, you can also, what I do a lot, is start mixing um, on my little dish here. So what I do is, is great like if I'm outside, have this little spray bottle, just a little bit of water, carry one or two of these dishes, and I just spray a little bit of water in the dish. And let's say I want to make a nice little, a nice little orange or a flesh tone, it's beautifully. So I'm using this Hansa Yellow Medium. I'm just going to put a little bit, and again, it's just melting away in there. See how beautiful that is? It's a beautiful color. And one of the reasons why I like these dishes is the fact that it's circular, so it kind of, you can see it kind of mixing together. It's beautiful. So again, I have my quinacridone coral, and now I'm just mixing. So now it's just mixing together. Now you got this beautiful orange color. And you don't need a lot. I mean, just with a couple of rotations, you know, I have a beautiful color here. And again, you can mix it. You can, you can add more yellow to make it more orange, which is great. So now I have a nice little orange. And notice I don't see any strokes on here. It just melts away just beautifully. I have a nice orange. 
beautiful orange. And that's with the quinacridone coral and the Hansa yellow medium. And the same thing can be done with all the colors. You know, we can mix together. Again, quinacridone coral is one of my favorite colors, so I'm really happy that, that uh, they were able to bring that out. So versatile, it's a nice warm color. Now, I'm getting some more coral in here. You can notice it's just melting away in there. French ultramarine. Make a nice little purple. Now make sure when you do use these that you don't take away the paper part here, okay? Because since this is pure gum emberic or pure watercolor, with a little bit of water, it just comes back to life. So you can definitely make a big mess with these. So make sure as you keep going, you kind of unroll it, unroll it down. So kind of keep your hands nice and clean. So again, I have a nice little purple here. Beautiful color. And again, notice it's just melting away beautifully. Same thing here. Look at those beautiful colors right there. So for those two colors, or three colors, I was able to make a secondary color using those. And you can keep them right next to your easel, you know, right next to your easel, and you can pick them up whenever you need them, so you don't actually have to. You know, what I usually do is I make them before I start painting, um, just a couple different ones, my favorite colors, and then go from there. Now, the, another great thing is that I'm gonna, you can pick them up right in your hand. I just have just a basic, um, make a basic set pretty much here, right? Yellow, red, and blue. Doesn't get any easier than that. So what I'm going to do now is you can just brush it right directly off the stick itself. And again, it's just chalked with color. So it does, you don't need to grab a lot of it. You just got to just dab a little bit. It's a beautiful stroke. So again, if you're outside of plein air, or you're in your studio, just want to do some sketching, grab a couple of these in your hand. You can just grab one, start drawing away, you know, put it back in your hand. You can even do, you can even put, let's say, two colors in one, in one little brush stroke here. Put a little blue there, put a little bit of red there, and you lay it down. You have this cool little color, and you can mix it directly on the paper. You know, so again, the versatility of these is great. The biggest thing you have to worry about is just finding water. But, you know, this with just enough water here, with these couple dishes, that you can have plenty of success going out in, there in the field and painting your favorite subject. So these are just a couple of different ways you can use it. So you can use it dry on the paper. You can get the paper wet, okay? You can also dip the stick in water and paint that way. You can mix in these little beautiful little dishes here. Again, I suggest the round ones because then you kind of, they kind of, you know, kind of like a mill. You kind of going around. You can definitely fill a lot of it up. And also, you can paint directly off the stick in this demonstration right here. So now I'm going to do a little painting, kind of going through all these different techniques. I'm going to start with um, drawing an initial layer of, usually I want to start with the, with the lighter color. So I'm going to switch papers here.